Hey guys, this week's movie was Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. This 1998 movie I saw without knowing that Guy Ritchie directed it. Now, there's one thing that I always say. I've watched the movie, then I did the research, because I don't like to get spoiled or ratings beforehand. So I, it's my own judgment, so I don't have to worry about it. So when I saw that this movie was directed by Guy Ritchie, I was like, yep, yep, it makes total sense, yep, mm -hmm, this, is totally a, <laughs> this is totally a Guy Ritchie movie, absolutely. I don't know, is it just me? Anybody? Okay, moving on. So this 1998 action dark comedy movie, this is what I'm guessing, um, is about um, four criminals that each one is has an expertise in each area, let's say. And the one that um, carries the movie is the guy that is a gambler. Now, this gambler, he, the way they, the narrator says, oh, this guy is amazing. He can um, tell, he can read your face expressions and the way you react. And I'm like, oh, wow, you cannot bullshit this guy for the life of you. Good. And then it turns out that he has a guy in the back room peeking, and he's peeking out with the camera the other player's cards. I was like, yeah, mm-hmm, the guy's a genius. He's a genius for sure. So it turns out that he has this apparatus on, attached to the back of his leg that taps him, what I'm, which I'm guessing is Morse code, the card and the player that has that uh, deck of cards. So it turns out that um, something happened with with the with the video camera. He couldn't get the, he couldn't give the guy feedback. So what happened was is that the guy was pushing him like, oh, see me. I and then it was just I don't understand poker. I'm sorry, I do not understand poker. So point is, um, he ended up losing and he had to find half of a million pounds. In 1998, I'm thinking that that right now has to be like a, a good three, four millions, right? Right? I don't know, I'm not gonna do the math for that. So yeah, he walked out of there, like dizzy, confused. He was just like, oh, fucked. As soon as he heard it and saw the cards, he was like, okay, I'm gonna die. And then the guy, when he gets out, the guy that gives him, tells him, everything that is happening, or everything's going to happen if he doesn't find that fucking money, <laughs> you're going to die. Next week, if I don't get that money, you are going to die. So he goes to his friends, Jason Statman, mm, State, Statman, Statman, I don't know, that, Jason Statman, he's, um, amazing, he's the only guy that I care about in this movie, pretty much, and so yeah, he goes back to his friends, and they pretty much were like, what the fuck did you do? <laughs> Which is funny. And it just, it became, it became this adventure from there on. It became the mission of the movie to find that money. So, which is the part that cracked me up. And, and besides the, all the little jokes on all the little scenes like the bar scene, it was the fact that, um... Everything turned out perfectly fine for them. Like, the dumbest, best, and most amazing luck was for them. Even though they didn't end up with the massive amount of money, they got out of that clean. In with the two guns, even though they're sort of thrown away, but you're not sure about that because... The ending is just a hook. It's like, ah, you figure it out. You give it a, the ending of this whole mess. So, yeah, not to keep talking about it, I thought this movie was really good. It went by really fast for me, which is amazing because it's almost two hours long. And performance overall was excellent. You can you see them, and you actually believe that they're criminals, which is amazing. And yeah, I absolutely love this movie right now because I, I, when I when I first saw it, I was 
I don't know, 14, 12? I don't know. I'm 24 almost, so that was a long time ago. I don't even remember watching this movie. Um, but I did because the the black guy <laughs> was the one thing that I remember at the bar with the basketball game or whatever game he was watching. So, yeah, um, I guess I'll see you guys next week. I thought this movie was really good. I totally recommend it. And bye.